Hey YouTube, Kagezara here. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm taking my girlfriend on a uh, fishing trip real soon. So uh, I just thought, hey, why not uh, do a fishing equipment overview, just showing you uh, the fishing equipment I have prepared. Because, uh, I mean, to me, it's some pretty cool stuff. Um, going to be bringing the uh, handheld camera and the laptop uh, on the trip with me. Uh, I may be able to put some videos up on the trip, but I'll at least be able to film just some fishing videos and other shenanigans that goes down, um, and then maybe edit it up in, in some spare time. Uh, don't know how good the internet's going to be, like if I can find any, so probably won't be able to get any video up during the trip, but afterwards I'll be able to get a whole slew of them. Hopefully get some cool video, uh, catching some fish, uh, whatnot, you know. So first and foremost, my fishing rods. Uh, I have three rods. Uh, I have my heavy, my medium, and my light gauge, all for different purposes. I have a uh, Fuliger reel here on an Abu Garcia um, graphite heat heavy action rod. Um, I really like this. I actually just got this. This is an older reel, and I just picked it up, but... Uh, I put on some 20 pound spider wire braid, which uh, I'm going to be going after some big stuff with this, hopefully. Um, my first target is actually a bowfin. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to catch a bowfin. Uh, I have a story that I'll probably tell later about why I want a bowfin. Most people don't like bowfin, and FDA wants you to kill them if you get them and they taste like shit. But... I have my per I have my reason for wanting to catch a bowfin. Uh, the second one right here, I have a uh, spider reel on it. It's a medium reel. See, uh, once again, twenty pound spider wire braid, and then I have a spider stinger pole. See, this is like medium medium to heavy action. Um, casts a little bit different, so you know depending on where I'm fishing. And here I have my uh, Shakespeare ugly stick pair. So I got my ugly stick pole and my ugly stick ball bearing reel. I put actually, um, let's see, I'll actually grab some for you. I put some 20 pound tri-line on this one. Uh, I don't like it very much. It was too uh, springy and brittle and it was trying to pop off the reel. Uh, my prediction is I'm gonna get some problems from this. I I I wanted strong reel. I wanted a strong line. I wasn't really thinking very much when I bought the uh, twenty pound. I bought because I bought one. I, wa I bought one spool of uh, of spider wire and then two spools of tri line because I actually uh, had to get my entire family's rods ready. And I was just like, I'm just gonna get this twenty pound stuff. Probably should have gone for more of a ten to twelve pound, but. Let's if it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll go to a store and quick re uh, re spool everyone. Uh, except for I love, I absolutely love the spider wire because it's nice and thin, but it's a braid, so it's still twenty pound. But it's you know it's so thin, it stays on there perfectly, and it's just it's so light and it's camouflage. But we'll see if this works. I mean, who knows? I probably won't be using too much for light gauge. But yeah, Shakespeare Ugly Stick. I like this a lot. It's got two different types here. You see that? So this is very flexible right here. And this is a little more stiff. It's still, still got, it's got really good action. Uh, we're actually fishing in two different boats. Uh, one is our boat. And I'll actually uh, take the camera out and go show it in a little bit. Uh, it's a new boat we just got. It's kind of a pleasure cruiser. Um, it's big. But, you know, when you're going out deeper into the lake and just kind of doesn't matter really what your boat is. I mean, you want to be comfortable. You're sitting there just fishing it up. The other one I'm renting, and it's it's a four-seater, just basic boat. I mean, it, it meets the qualifications of a boat. It floats. <laughs> so if it's not a rock, it's a boat. So it's a boat because <laughs> it's not a rock. Uh, I'm putting a 12, uh, 12 horse uh, outboard on it. Uh, probably get some video of that later. That's what I'm mainly hoping to film in because that's what I'm that's what I'm going after the dog fishing. Uh, using that to go into some smaller bays that uh, the big thing can't get into. Uh, just whatever. 
because there's going to be some areas the entrance is about uh, six inches, like six, it's like six inches of water, and so this thing will, if you go and pop at full speed, pull the engine up as you go over, you get right in, and then it's a nice little secluded fishing area, get some bass in there and whatnot. Second order of business is my tackle. Uh, right here, I got a motherfucking huge bait box. Uh, so let's open her up. This is an awkward angle, being that I'm using a laptop, so we'll see if this works. But uh, this thing, uh, I bought this for 30 bucks a couple years back, and I love it to death. Uh, it's got everything I need in it. It's got two open panels here. Um, I got here scale, scale and measuring tape for when I catch the big one. Uh, spyglass, uh, just in case if I want to see, you know, who's in the boat over there. I can be like, oh, spyglass it up. Just for fun. Uh, got myself brand new uh, lure I'm going to be using. I like that thing. It's Strike King. Which is going to be fun. I got to try that one out. Some leaders. Some uh, clippers for line and whatnot. Bunch of hooks. Blah, da Basic fishing stuff. Front compartment where I threw a bunch of bobbers. Just in case. I'm not really much of a bobber fisherman, but uh, it's all my girlfriend knows how to do, so I'm going to be... I have to... She's really not a fisher person. She's not really a fisher woman. But she's going to, you know, just sit out there with the bobber in the water, so I got to keep her uh, keep her stuff going. Plus, I'm, I'll do some occasionally. Uh, inside, opens up. We actually... Uh, it came with three of these boxes. One, two, and then there'd be a third here. I took it out because I don't use it. I, I might even take this out. So I'm not using that one either. But, uh, the first one I got all my lures in here. Uh, just open this up, let you see real quick. So, oh, it smells nice. It smells nice in here. Got this one. I, I've caught some good stuff on here. Um, I got two of these. I got them, uh, spoons, stuff. A cricket. Oh, my hand's in the way. A cricket. Shimmer fishes. Oh, I just got these. Can't wait to try these out. I have a feeling they're gonna work nicely, especially for I'm going after. I got a jitterbug in here, and then I got two of these, which are more of a joke than anything. Redneck Christmas ornaments. So right in here, in case I got my tri line, I got it in a bag to keep it uh, away from moisture. Got myself a multi tool here. Uh, this is made specifically for fishing. It's got a marlin spike, a saw, a knife. Uh, a fillet knife, screwdrivers, all sorts of stuff. Tape, just in case I need some scotch tape. Another pair of pliers, in case I need to use two. A uh, fish hook remover that I don't ever use, but just in case, if I really can't get one out, I'll bust it out. I got a, a dial right here. So it's got weights and hooks and leaders in there. Something I've actually had to use before on the high seas. First aid kit. The reason, actually, my last uh, my last video, the Nightshade series knives. Uh, the reason I got those was actually to bring on this fishing trip because I figured, hey, it's not metallic. I don't have to worry about it rusting if it gets wet when I'm fishing. Plus the 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 push too is you know I can be holding that in my hand when I'm messing with wire and stuff and then cut. But I'm not bringing those along. Uh, they're like I said in the video before. They're more of a they're more of a last ditch defense weapon and not really a tool. So now I gotta figure out what I want. Last year I brought along a Shanghai Shadow right after I got it. Liked it a lot, but I'm uh, not sure if I want to do it again this year. I might bring it along just in case. Uh, I think my EDC for this trip will be my M Tech Extreme, just because it's so easy to open with one hand and I like it. Uh, it's skeletized, so if water gets in, I can clean it out fairly simply. I might also bring this just to have it. I mean, I can use this. I mean, this. If you haven't seen my review for this, Cold Steel Shanghai Shadow, I can split firewood with this thing. And I have. 